Hi, this is Kate Magic and you're listening to the Raw Living Podcast. Raw Living is Europe's leading raw foods and superfood supplier and I founded the company back in 2002. In this interview series, I'm talking to some of the people behind the brands that we offer on our shop to find out what exactly is the ethos behind the company. Not just the ingredients that they use and the processes that they use to create the end results, but I'm asking them other questions like how do they show respect for the environment, how do they treat their workers and their relationship to the farmers who grow the crops. All the companies that we work with are putting huge amounts of dedication and commitment into creating products that are benefiting not just you, but also the whole ecosystem, the planet, the people. And with this series, I'm hoping to show insights into that. When you're shopping with these companies, you're really not just investing in your health, you're truly investing in a better world for us all. I'm Kate Magic. I do lots of different things, but my main work is uh, my health food business, Raw Living. We sell high vibrational raw foods and superfoods. I live in central London and I'm also blessed to spend the winters here in Bali. I believe that we all choose to have an earth experience and we choose our challenges and we choose our blessings before we come in in order to Um, facilitate the most amount of soul growth possible. I believe some of us have had many, many lifetimes on the earth. And when we do this past life work, it can help us to piece together certain things in this current lifetime that can really accelerate our personal evolution. I believe that life is magic, that we are not meant to be able to understand it with our logical minds and that love is the building block of the universe. Everything is made of love. Everything comes from love. Everything returns to love. Love is all there is, and I try and practice compassion for myself and for others at all times. I believe there's a divine intelligence that works through us all, and life works out much better for us when we tune into and work with that divine intelligence. I'm really passionate about making a change in the world. Ever since I was a child, I understood that I was here to help facilitate this change that we are undergoing. I don't know how I knew, but I just always knew that we were on the precipice of something huge and that, yeah, I had a role to play in that. I believe this change happens on a micro level first. That it's about a change in perception when we change the lens through which we see the world. The world changes. And I also believe it's really about, at this current time, really working on our physical bodies, our physical vessels to cleanse, detoxify, purify, so that we can hold the light energies as they come to earth at this time. I believe my gift is that I help others unlock their inner magic I have done a lot of work on myself in this lifetime and I believe in previous lifetimes and so I hold a certain frequency and that frequency creates an invitation for others to also um, just raise their vibration, become the best possible version of themselves. I feel like that happens really just by a transmission. I don't have to say anything or do anything, but energetically we just uh, help to raise the vibration together. As far as QHHT goes, I started my QHHT journey two years ago. I didn't really know anything about Dolores. I hadn't read any of her books, I hadn't watched any of her videos, and I got really clear guidance to train as a QHHT practitioner. So I looked into it and I felt very excited by it. It combined a lot of my different passions, a lot of my different interests. So I started the journey. I actually found that it is not uncommon for, in fact, it's completely normal for QHHT practitioners to feel like they have some kind of connection with Dolores. I feel like she's very present, although she left the earth plane a good few years ago now. I feel like she's very active uh, with her students. She's still teaching. She's still guiding us from the other side. 
I love that the school has kept their integrity. It's now run by Dolores's daughter, Julia Cannon, and they're really passionate about staying true to Dolores's methods. And I think really the most um, important thing to understand about Dolores's method is it's very, very simple, but it's very profound in its simplicity. So I love that we're encouraged to really rely on this method that she developed over many, many years and know that it does work. When we follow the method, it really does work. And provide these very profound results. So in a QHHT session you can either come to my home in central London or my home here in Bali and we first of all just spend a little bit of time getting to know you, what your issues are in this current lifetime, where you're at, just so I can understand a bit more about what you're looking for, what you're wanting to get out of the session and then um, we go through your questions so it's really important that you come with questions you can come with as many as you like but at least 10 questions and they can be related to things that are going on in your personal life or they can be related to bigger picture questions really whatever's in your heart then after that we go into the hypnosis one of the things I really love about it is it's a very simple method like I said it's a very gentle method and a lot of times people come out of the session and they say they didn't really even realize that they were under hypnosis until they came out and that's because of how gentle and easy the method is um, it's a bit like um, that state you're in just when you're falling asleep or just when you're waking up in the morning so when you're maybe just remembering your dreams by the time you start going about your day you can't really remember a lot of your dreams it's all kind of faded and disappeared but we're in that kind of half asleep half awake state during the session so you're kind of vaguely aware what's going on but not really and it works much better for you when you just try and suspend your normal judgment your normal conscious mind and just allow um the information to come through so then after the session we spend as long as you need having a debrief and I really enjoy that bit trying to understand more about what came up for you and going through um, some of the past lives that came up for you so yeah we take as long as you need the session usually lasts at least five hours sometimes six maybe even seven but yeah you really need to schedule out the whole day in the evening afterwards you might feel a bit spaced out it's really important to do some grounding activities like get into nature and eat a nice big meal. I find as well that the effects of the session can last at least a few days afterwards and it's a really important part of the healing that you listen back to your session, you listen back to the recording of your session because you'll always notice and hear things that you didn't hear when you um, when you were doing it, things that you don't remember saying. So I hope that's given you a little insight into the work of Dolores and QHHT and I would really love to see you at a session some point here in Bali or in London. Thank you for listening. You can check out the products we've been talking about by visiting Raw Living, rawliving.co.uk. And if you haven't got an account already, then do sign up. You get five pounds off your first order. And also please do like, subscribe and share this podcast. It really does help.